health and fitness and uh, you know body image are a part of so many of our new year's resolutions whether you're a guy or a girl but let me just say as a woman i will say that when it comes to weight loss and body image it is particularly important that we treat ourselves with tender loving care that we develop positive thoughts and that we pass those on to the younger generation that is the motivation actually behind the girls positivity club absolutely and the founder of said club is melissa jones she's joining us now talking about the new year and and goals for kids when it comes to losing weight the whole nine yards it's great to talk to you how are you melissa thank you so much for having me hi i'm doing great how are you guys doing pretty well listen I, I i know when i was a kid you know and that's still to this day it was a little chunky monkey a little bit but like you can't say that to a kid you have to kind of like you have to come at it with a different viewpoint than we might have as adults we're like oh my goodness i have to get rid of this how do you approach having a positive body talk for your kids but also getting them you know on the on the right on the right path yeah you brought up a great point i think a lot of us even from growing up we have these habits where we stand in front of the mirror and we can nitpick little things about ourselves or we can say out loud gosh i hate my arms or you know i need to lose weight or whatever it is and what we have to be conscious of is the way that that can be interpreted by our kids and really focusing more on yes it's good to be healthy and it's good to put these good habits in place that we're all trying to incorporate in 2022, but really making it so that the kids are thinking of it more as getting healthy rather than getting skinny Mm -hmm. or what can my body, you know, what are the positive qualities that I have in my body, even if I have some health goals too. Yeah, for sure. And so it's all about those, those positive sides of being in shape and, and, and maybe shedding some pounds. And that usually is more like healthy eating, physical activity, interaction with others, you know, um, volunteering. Those are the positive sides. And yet I, I wanna touch, especially for young ladies, I grew up with a very, very body conscious um, culture around me. And I think it's extremely dangerous for young women when they think that what I accomplish, and what I have to offer the world depends first on how pretty I am. I couldn't agree more. And I think with social media, it makes it even harder for girls these days because not only did we, you know, grow up with that kind of culture when we saw in magazines or on TV shows, but girls also have those pressures, especially with all the filters on social media Mm -hmm. and all of the new influencers that are coming out. And I think it is improving, but I think it is having those intentional conversations about our kids are following and really if someone is making you feel like you're comparing yourself to their body or an unhealthy body you know image then unfollowing them muting them and having com- conversations about things like what makes you feel strong in your body what makes you feel the most confident when you get dressed what are the outfits that make you feel really great you know or what has your body done for you so i think really just putting those little conversation starters into the everyday routine of our lives, whether it's, you know, in the kitchen, cooking with kids, inviting them into the kitchen and just casually talking about it or car rides. I've I've always found that car rides are really a great place because you're driving, it's very casual. It's not like you're sitting them down. Yeah. Yeah, It can't can't go in the other room on you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You know? <laughs> exactly. Yes. Uh, you know, I, I, you mentioned social media and it's kind of like, I, I would say since probably the fifties, like how media in general, like if you don't see yourself reflected back and you're saying, oh, wow, she's skinnier than I am. Or he's, you know, look, he has abs and I don't, Ooh. you start to get this thing. And now, you know, Cosmopolitan magazine, Teen Bop, mm-hmm. now you're on, you're on Instagram. And if you've been looking Victoria's at a few Secret. of those photos, yeah, Victoria's Secret, you're looking at a few of those photos and then you go to your suggested literally all that's being thrown in your face is people that are like built like 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 space shuttles sort of technology like how do they look like that unbelievable and that's so unhealthy for these kids so how do we communicate you know a positive body image to to our children when this is what they're bombarded with 
Yeah, I think it's putting those those habits in place and really very simple things. So one thing that you can do for your daughter, and I found this to be really effective. Parents have told me that they love doing this with their daughters, especially, and, and boys too. I've done it with my son, is putting little notes on the mirror that is a positive, you know, a compliment of some kind to them or taking an expo marker and writing them on the mirror or just leaving them a little note. That's really a positive way. Also, going on walks, a very simple thing to do with your child is to go on a walk with them and talk about your, we call it yays of your day. What are the yays of your day? And really <laughs> then that opens up, you know, a lot of times they'll say yays and nays, you know, a high and a low. And good, getting into that habit of moving your body in a healthy way that's not too intense, like we're going to go do CrossFit or whatever it is, you know, yeah. just really helps and having those casual conversations and not being afraid to say that to your kids like how are you feeling about your body do you feel good when you when we go to the pool and you wear a swimsuit like what kind of swimsuit makes you feel the most confident because not every girl especially or boy i had this with my son when he went through a little phase and it's like not everybody wants to wear you know everything out in the open and at, at a pool you know even boys they might want to wear a, a swim shirt or something like that just until they feel a little bit more confident with their bodies so i think the main thing is having those those spaces to have conversations yep. in a very casual way you know what? i'm going to start i'm just going to blame say. i'm going to blame all of the generations before us for screwing us up to the point where we have to fix it <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely their fault but yay and i i just want to say i actually i didn't want to interrupt you sean but i mentioned victoria's secret as a company that i've seen actually really start to turn around yes. and show images of real girls yeah. real human beings yeah. as well so there is there are there are a lot of uh a lot of changes being made but melissa thank you so much for joining us such an important conversation honestly i could have you back and talk this talk this through because it's affected me uh, quite a bit so thank you so much me too. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm always happy to, to share any kind of insight that will help people. Absolutely. And now listen, you can find a whole bunch of insight on her website. Wow, that was very good. Uh, girlspositivityclub.org if you want to <laughs> learn more. You can also follow them on social media as well. Social media, that's not bad for you. 